Hello, I'm Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Well, welcome to our whiteboard session today on the skills you need as a project manager. So no matter if you are new to project management and trying to understand what skills are required going into the profession, or if you've been in the profession for a long time and really frustrated, wondering why certain things aren't working and trying to learn the new skills you need. So hopefully this whiteboard session will help to clarify the skills. So I always like to go and there's so many different terms thrown out in the industry. I want to highlight what, if you go Google or look up the word skill, it means the ability to do something well. It's like expertise. So if you think about project management, there truly is the art and the science. It's using the right brain and the left brain because some of the skills and working with people and some of the things that are more, um, more on the art and then there's the craft or the science. So the expertise, there's a lot of different skills that one has to know. So let's break it down uh, into behavioral and technical skills. So if you look at the behavioral side, these are some of the skills that um, are required um, to influence behaviors like leadership skills, knowing how to influence others and how to get them to follow you on the team. Uh, change management, not just the change management process, but the, the art of being able to manage change effectively within an organization. Again, getting others to buy into initiatives within an organization where it's creating massive change and where usually change occurs, fear occurs. So it's navigating those waters. Also process management, really understanding and having the ability to manage processes effectively, knowing how to, uh, not only it's the project management discipline, but understanding and having a clear way of uh, managing processes for your project. Also problem solving, being able to take a problem and break it down into the segments, understand what the real issue is and solving those and taking decisive actions to get things done. Also, there's the communication. So it's communicating with different levels, whether it's at the team level, it's the stakeholders, it's the change control board, it's the executive level. So literally with project managers, you have to communicate up, down, and all around. So it's not only, uh, it's also written, it's verbal, and all different forms of communication. Also organizing and planning, being able to look at a project and being able to organize things in different components and plan them correctly and effectively so that you can manage the, pro the project. Also reading systems, being able to look around and see what's being, uh, seeing what's being done and hear what's being said and see how those line up and being able to read when things aren't going well or, or sounding right. So being able to tune into the system. Also team building. So when, again, when projects are longer or shorter, sometimes intense, or when projects are failing, specifically when emotions are high and sensitivities are high, being able to get teams uh, working together and being able to understand each other, bridging the gap between maybe some of the skills, maybe some of the cultures, and doing those things that are needed to get the team to work together towards a common goal. Then there's the commitment, the commitment to task, staying committed throughout the project. You may have seen those times where, or experienced them yourself when the things aren't going well, so it's like you wanna eject the project or maybe get out of there as quick as you can, but uh, it's really staying committed through the project during the tough times and the good times. And then there's the diplomacy of knowing whether you're talking to an executive or team level, of knowing how to be diplomatic in order to get things resolved. So there's diplomacy. So diplomacy doesn't mean selling out or avoiding conflict avoidance. It's really understanding the diplomacy needed uh, to be able to navigate the politics or the levels that you're dealing with in order to get things done. So those are some of the behavioral skills. And then there's the technical skills. So there's also knowing about tools, uh, also knowing about how to use, and tools could be anything from Excel spreadsheets, it could be to Microsoft Word, it could be whatever, whatever thing the tools are that you need to get things done. Uh, there's also tools being software, having a software tool 
that you can manage your projects effectively and that others can get in and access the software too, like a projectmanager.com. Then there's the techniques of having uh, a technique, whether it's a metho methodology, whether it's knowing how to uh, build out a Gantt chart or being able to map things out in uh, decision-making uh, processes. So the techniques that you need to get done. Also the methodology, so having a clear methodology that you can use, communicate to the team and use for the project. A methodology um, helps to not only get the project done, but help others in communicating. So by using these skills, again, it goes back to the art and the science. So it's a difficult role as a project manager, but these are the skills that you need to handle some of the issues that arise, whether they're people issues, their process issues or technology issues. So these are the things that we found helpful uh, skills as a project manager for those projects that do really well. So if you are looking for tips, tools, and techniques, better yet project management software to help support your behavioral and technical skills as a project manager, then sign up for our software at projectmanager.com.